Hello and welcome to Discovering Thailand and welcome to Chiang Mai Railway Station. In this video we're going to talk about coming to Chiang Mai by train or departing by train. We're going to look at uh, what it costs, uh, the layout of the station, what's here, uh, what to do when you get here, um, some local hotel that you could stay that's close by and we'll look at the prices. We'll even try and have a look on a train if we time it well. We might be able to jump on and have a quick look at the carriages. We'll talk about the type of classes of sleeper and different sort of trains mainly referring to the one to and from Bangkok that uh, leaves overnight and there's one during the day. We'll get the prices of what it costs you to catch a taxi or a tuk-tuk into the city from here and all the information that you need if you decide to either arrive or depart by train which I'd done personally about 12 years ago. Came up here from Bangkok on the uh, first class sleeper. Quite nice, quite nice if you want to really do it that way. We'll go for a walk through now and have a look around. So they've got this beautiful steam train parked right out the front here on display. Looks just amazing. Look at that. Really, really sets off the place. As we um, head down towards the building, it's um, quite unique with the clock tower there on the left. And it's quite a nice looking station in its own quirky way as you'll discover. A bit of a mixture of the old with the new. But a little bit of information, it's 751 kilometres from Bangkok Railway Station to Chiang Mai Station. Um, these trains can do it in between 11 and 12 hours. Okay, There are 130 railway stations all along the way. Uh, they don't stop at all of them of course, but um, if you do want to just come straight into Chiang Mai here, then it's probably best to take the sleeper overnight. Whereas if you want to stay up and watch everything, you can um, come and do it uh, during the day. Um, one of the highlights coming through along here is a tunnel. There's actually a tunnel that is the longest in Thailand. The tunnel is in Khun Tan National Park. I actually did a video, um, even though I didn't know it was the longest tunnel in Thailand at the time, and it's worth um, checking out. I'll put a link up in the top. As you can see, as we look through here, um, this is the main entry foyer. Just up there is where you buy your tickets and uh, it's very quiet here now it's not uh, the busy season so we're at the beginning of September now so in the next uh, month or so it's going to get busier there's our little shrine there it's always there the board here showing the um, different types of class car, uh, timetables of what time they arrive and there's also a digital arrivals um, monitors that you might notice up above that have um, the times of the trains coming and going and there's a great website which I'll put in the description uh, that tracks the times and the trains um, as you saw there's ATMs where you can use your international visa cards or any banking got some good food places on the platform here you know not as cheap as 7-eleven but you know not much dearer either I went in there I bought a small can of Sprite that cost me 20 baht when I know it was 16 baht in 7-Eleven. And there's our little waiting room, the old wooden benches where you can sit down. Not the most comfortable, you'd probably be glad to sitting on the train once you get off those benches. But um, yeah, that's that's the little waiting area. And one of those new coffee machines over there too, which is quite interesting. There's hundreds of different types of coffees and drinks you can get out of that one machine there. So there it is looking up the platform and uh, we'll go up there shortly. What I do plan to do is I'm going to come back tomorrow morning when the overnight train comes in. It's about 7.30 a.m. and we'll come in and uh, we'll watch it arrive. We'll watch everybody come off and head out and we'll just see how much different and busier the, the, um, the train station is. So as you can see there's a luggage area over there. If you've got larger luggage you want to uh, deal with um, they can they can sort that out for you there's a lot of construction going on they're always doing some work here uh, we've got toilets up ahead uh, so you've got toilets there it was quite funny I noticed the sign I'll put a picture up in the corner of the um, toilets interesting was the pay phones there too um, interesting why they would have pay phones there were some new ones just being installed there so uh, yeah, there, there's the board again showing the um, timetable. Uh, like I say, this is the end of the line. Nothing goes further north than Chiang Mai. 
So, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll come back. Um, here's the information here, and you'll see just up there is that monitor that you can go to the website and monitor the um, up-to-date live information on the train's um, whereabouts and, uh, and timing. Here we've got some charging areas here, so if you need to charge your phones or anything, that's handy to have. And uh, that's looking back out into the car park. So now I've just noticed, I thought I'd show you the left luggage room is here. So you can come here and leave your bags, where the prices are up there. Uh, it's only 30 baht for a small bag, 40 for a medium piece of luggage and a big bag for 50 baht I think it is and that will last you. Uh, that's an overnight cost. So when you walk out of the station, this is where you'll be in the uh, car park area here. We're going to walk over this way because this is where you'll get your taxis. Okay and your, your tuk-tuks and other forms of transport to get wherever else you're continuing on to but if you do happen to be staying here um, and want to come in late at night or early in the morning and you want to stay somewhere that hotel over there we're going to go and have a look at that it's the boss hotel we're going to go check that out see what the prices are um, because it's right here at the station it's very convenient and you know, sometimes these train trips aren't as comfortable as you might think and you, you just had enough and don't want to continue on. You could uh, stop there and, and have, a, have a rest. There's also a 7-Eleven right next door, which is pretty much the case everywhere. Uh, I see a sign down there for a Thai massage, everything you want. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go over, I'll ask one of these taxi drivers how much it is. Uh, the Taipei Gate is the main central part of Chiang Mai and that's where we go and these guys just waiting for the trains to come in Hello So, is this yours? That's your there And you say from here to Taipei Gate 100 baht Very cheap, not far Okay, that's good I'm not going but for my people watching they come in here, and they come here, they know. Okay. Yeah. And you'll play checkers, yeah? Or chess. Yeah. Wait wait for the train all day. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. A hundred baht for a comfortable car, but you're literally less than ten minutes with traffic from the center of Chiang Mai. That's five bucks Australian, it's three dollars US, it's nothing. Okay. Now there's a nice uh, time over there for breakfast over there. They've got a buffet breakfast for 179 baht. Looks really nice for those people that come in in the morning. We'll have a quick look in here and ask about it. Certainly looks comfortable. Yes. This one thousand and this is a one thousand and two hundred. Okay. Because this room is bigger. Yeah, bigger. Bigger than this room. Okay. Yeah. And this room one thousand and uh, two hundred. Right. Yeah. And one thousand and four hundred. Okay. Yeah. And this room is a. Uh, 1,800 800, because bigger again Yeah, it's bigger, it's a uh, half the view Oh, okay Yeah Alright And this room for your family Okay Yeah uh, 2,600 Yeah Okay yeah. Very good That yeah. makes good, that's good, thank you for showing me Yeah Okay Alright, so if you come from train, you can come over to here, spend the night, no problem, alright? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kapunka. There you go. Right opposite the Chiang Mai station. And there's somewhere you can stay. A thousand baht for their cheapest nice room in there. In the 
there you go. I'll put the I'll list the prices of what she just mentioned there in both US and Aussie dollars, if that helps. Um, but the exchange rate I go on is usually just around 25 baht to the Australian dollars and about 35 to the US. Roughly, it's around about that. So it's not hard to work out. Now we're going to skip to tomorrow morning with a train coming in. We're going to follow all the passengers as they disembark and make their way out of the station so you know exactly what to do when you arrive here. Hey, welcome back everybody. And uh, I've come back to the Chiang Mai station here the next morning. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> um, just to capture the train coming in. Now this is the overnight train that's been running from Bangkok. And what we'll do is we'll just do a walk off like all the other passengers as they come off the train and, and exit the station. Okay, so the train's due any minute now and probably in the next In the next five minutes, there's another one leaving. This is the end of the line, so the trains don't go any further than north than this. This is as northerly as they go in Thailand. Let's uh, get a shot of the train coming into the platform and then we'll do a walk through. All right, here's the train arriving. And it's fairly on, pretty much on time. It's about, uh, I think 10 minutes, about 10 minutes late, so that's pretty good. Quite a few people on there, I can see. Yeah, we Now I'm not sure which uh, class this is. But, uh, we'll stand out of the way a little bit, but we'll go down and uh, follow where most of these uh, passengers are going to head to. And, uh, a new batch of tourists arrive. What I'd like to do is take a look on board. Now we are in the very first week of September here so it's not high season yet but I could imagine this train will be quite busy in the next uh, couple of months as the high season kicks in with a lot more coming. Uh, but it's a nice alternative to come up other than flying. Uh, it's quite comfortable, I think, depending on what ticket you got and whether you're sitting up all day, whether you've got air con, whether you, you've got a fan or, or you have a first class uh, sleeper or even second class sleeper. I think there's a different... Let's be sneaky and have a look. Hello. Hi. So as you can see here, it's a uh, right, bunks come down. Um, this is probably second class um, sleeper. I've seen ones that actually have completely separate rooms. There we go. We managed to have a bit of a walk through. So. And aircon. The aircon is quite cool actually. Uh, so you might want to wear something warm. 
I would highly suggest. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, no ticket collection at the station. Everything would have, that would have already been done on the train. I'm just going to check and see how busy it is. The train's been in, been in for about 10 minutes now. And out the front here is the, looks like we've got uh, everybody out here looking for their rides and how to get to their hotels and, and where they need to go. So here we see all the people that have all the hotels, all the taxi drivers looking for customers. And they, um, there we go. So, not too crazy out here, not too crazy. But, uh, but there you go don't forget you've got the alternative there's a hotel directly across the road there not only that you are here early in the morning if you come in on this train so across the road there's also a place to grab breakfast there's also as I showed you before 7-eleven just over there and plenty other food places and chemists and everything you need around here to hold back because when there is when there's no train, you see how quiet it was before. There's hardly anyone here, so... Yeah. A lot of people looking a bit confused, but probably first time is here in Chiang Mai. There's the other food place. Grab a coffee or something for breakfast. <laughs> or if you don't have many bags, maybe you could jump on a rental bike straight away. Pretty unlikely, but at least, uh, you know, it's an option to come back to. I did a video on rental bikes, but you know, you can always uh, go back and have a look at that. Okay, so there you go. Chiang Mai train station. Hopefully that covers everything you need to know if you're arriving or departing here. Uh, one thing I also want to mention is that it's an area over here for motorbike, motorcycle parking. So maybe you could use that long term as well. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll just swing the camera around and have a look. You can see over there we've got the parking over there. But um, yeah, anyway. I uh, hope that's ha handy for everybody. Don't forget to put a comment if you have any questions or anything you want to ask down in the comments below. And uh, everybody here is uh, trying to get a ride. They're all looking pretty weary. All right. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe or join the channel to help support. And um, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye for now. Cheers.